Hey guys, it's Bub here, and this year we're taking a look at a custom version of Windows XP that I found on archive.org. Archive.org hosts a ton of weird and custom Windows ISOs, and for this video I just happened to stumble across Windows XP Super Late. I have not done any research on this OS, where it came from, things like that. All I know is that we have the opportunity to take a look at it right now, and I'm kind of excited. In my opinion, like the professional versions of Windows XP have always been relatively lightweight, especially compared to what we have today, Windows 10, Windows 11. Um, but that may not have been the case back in 2001. So, this aims to cut out all the bloat that was in Windows XP, which I didn't believe that there was bloat in Windows XP. There are two ISOs for this operating system. The non-SP4, which is what we're using right now, is 187 megabytes, while the SP4 version is about 580 megabytes. Um, we're using the non-SP4 just because it is more lightweight, um, so that's just something to keep in mind. We're not going to have Service Pack 4, but um, because I, we, I read online that the SP4 does have some activation issues, so this non-SP4 should allow us to get in without having to enter a product key. All right, and here we go. So the product key that was automatically entered through Easy Install, I just wanted to try it. Um, it is not working, so we're going to click next and no. Um, it is my understanding that the Service Pack 4 version of this does not allow you to skip. I have not tried it, that is just what I read on the comments on the archive.org page. Alright, and here we go. So, pressing Control alt delete we automatically had an error message, but we should be booting into the desktop, and here we are. The VMware Tools option is grayed out for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why. Um, I'm sure it is something with the OS version that I have set. Um, but either way, we should be able to just kind of tweak this just so we get a bigger resolution for the recording. All right, so this is Windows XP Super Lite non-SP4. Just for starters, Bliss is no longer the background. Is Bliss, okay, Bliss is on the machine, but by default it is off. That is the only wallpaper on here. Um, we have, for example, our clock as well as safely remove hardware, which is a Windows XP thing, um, as well as the recycle bin, and that is all that's on the desktop by default, which is pretty much what came on Windows XP. In Windows XP, there were no extra icons, there was no Microsoft Edge, they, this was it, the recycle bin. Moving down into the start menu, we can see by default we have Internet Explorer, Outlook, MSN, Media Player, and Messenger pinned. Um, why we couldn't get rid of these, I'm not sure, because to me, Messenger and MSN feel like they're unnecessary bloat. I'm not sure why that's still there. In all programs, we have Activate Windows, Access Defaults, um, Windows Catalog, Windows Update, as well as our typical accessories, which does appear to be cut down. I'm not seeing stuff like paint. So we couldn't get rid of MSN, but we can get rid of paint. That makes total, total sense. Um, we'll take a look at that in a minute. In Explorer, MSN, Outlook media player messenger movie maker I feel like all of this these last five could be removed but they were not alright uh, Windows Explorer we definitely okay so the my documents opens up like a normal it opens up like a normal thing here but this is a little strange there is a Dell uh, folder on this ISO I'm not sure why because this is not a Dell machine I mean this is kinda of fun I mean look at that it's an old Dell website but again I'm not sure why it's on this ISO was it installed was this made on a physical machine and then converted to an ISO I'm not really sure now the Windows Explorer here correct me if I'm wrong I haven't used Windows XP that much but this looks like a different explorer. Again, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It's hidden. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, C drive. There's our Dell folder again. But uh, yeah, MSN Gaming Zone is still here. Xerox is on here. Again, not sure if that is native or if that is something that was added in the ISO. But yeah. This is Windows XP build 2600, and that's about it. This is Windows XP Superlight. 
definitely a very interesting operating system to take a look at. Not much to actually take a look at, but looking at these weird and wacky and custom Windows ISOs on archive.org, archive.org really holds a lot of history, um, especially in the Windows space. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.